Problem number 19. Don Limited was incorporated to take over Arun, Brown and Crown. The following is the balance sheet of three companies which is as under. There are some liabilities and assets which are given for all the three companies. You are required from the following information you are required to work out the equity shares and debentures to be issued to the shareholders and prepare the balance sheet of Don Limited. Don Limited is one company formed from those three companies being amalgamated. Assets are to be revalued and the revalued amount of tangible block and other assets is given to you. So Arun, Brown and Crown tangible block and other assets are given to you with the revalued figures. Normal profit on the capital employed can be taken as 10%. Average amount of profits of 3 years before charging interest on debentures is given to you as 5,40, 4,32 and 3,12 for Arun, Brown and Crown. Goodwill is to be calculated at 3 years purchase of average super profits of 3 years and such an average is to be calculated after adjusting 10% on increase or decrease on revaluation of fixed assets. Capital employed being considered on the basis of net revaluation of tangible assets. Equity shares of 10 rupees each fully paid up in Don Limited will be distributed in the ratio of average profits after adjusting depreciation on revaluation of tangible block. 10% debentures of 100 rupees each fully paid up will be issued by Don Limited for the balance due. Ratio for issue of equity shares and debentures in Don Limited are to be maintained in 3 to 1 ratio towards the takeover of the companies. The amount required for preliminary expenses 150,000 and for payment of the existing debenture holders is to be provided by issue of equity shares of 10 rupees each in Don Limited. Read point number 6, 7 and 8. You will understand the PC. Point number 6 is talking about PC in equity shares. Equity shares of rupees 10 each fully paid up in Don Limited will be distributed in the ratio of average profits after adjusting depreciation on revaluation of tangible block. Now whenever the statement is given, he is just saying how the equity shares will be distributed among ABC, that is Arun, Brown and Crown. But how many equity shares is that information given? No. If I know the number of equity shares, then this ratio I will anyways calculate. But I don't know what is the number of equity shares to be distributed. Come down to the point number 7. 10% debentures of 100 rupees each will be issued by Don Limited for the balance due. Now from where will I get this balance? What is the amount of equity shares? That is explained in point number 8. The ratio of equity shares and debentures in Don Limited is to be maintained at the rate of 3 to 1 towards the takeover of the companies. That means... He is not giving you what is the number of equity shares, not, not even giving you not a, the number of debentures there. So, how will we calculate? Follow net assets. Get the total net assets. That is the total PC. The total PC is issuing in the form of 3 to 1. Equity shares for 3 by 4 and debentures for 1 by 4. The 3 by 4 issued in equity shares should be distributed to the 3 companies in the ratio of their average profits after depreciation on revaluation. For the balance He'll give debentures. So let's start. Put the purchase consideration as net assets method. Three companies, Arun, Brown and Crown. Start with your assets first. I have revaluations also. Consider the revalued amounts. Tangible block, 30 lakhs, 15 lakhs and 18 lakhs. Other assets, 10 lakh 50 thousand. 4,20,000 
2,40,000. First, we have to value goodwill. So, don't take that goodwill figure what is already existing in the balance sheet. So, we'll just consider this. My total assets are 40,50,000, 19,20,000 and 20,40,000. My total assets. Outside liabilities, I have two outside liabilities. The first one is other liabilities and the second one is 10% debentures. This will give me what is capital employed. Place the figures. Nothing is given in thousands. We unfortunately wrote everything in total figures. Yep, keep maintaining the same way. So this one will be six lakhs and six lakhs. Total liabilities are twelve lakhs, and my capital employed is twenty-eight lakh fifty thousand for Arun. For Brown, four lakh fifty thousand other liabilities. Nothing for debentures. Total will be same four lakh fifty, and this will be fourteen lakh seventy thousand. Crown three lakhs and three lakhs. Total is six lakhs, and the net assets are fourteen lakh forty. You got the figure of net assets there. That is capital employed. Another determinant for us is FMP. To get FMP, he is saying average profits are already given, but those average profits are before charging interest on debentures. And one more adjustment, he said, after considering 10% depreciation on increase or decrease in the revaluation of fixed assets. Go for FMP calculation then. Average profits before debenture interest, 5,40,000. Next one is 4,32,000 and 3,12,000. This is before debenture interest. Provide debenture interest from this. There is no tax impact given, so you can ignore taxation in this question. Debenture interest, 10% debenture, 60,000. Nil, 30,000. Depreciation on revaluation, 30, Provide this. Balance figure is FMP. Okay, 10% depreciation on revaluation. Come on, check your tangible block. First one, for Arun, tangible block in the question is 24 lakhs, revalued to 30 lakhs, so revaluation is 6 lakhs. 6 lakhs, 10% upward depreciation, so 60,000 increase. Next one, 18 lakhs already book value given there, but it is reduced to 15 lakhs, so you need to add back 10% of 3 lakhs, 30,000. Crown 15 lakhs given in the question, revalue to 18 lakhs, upward revaluation of 3 lakhs. So depreciation should be downward 30,000. These are your answers of FMP 4 lakhs 20, 4 lakhs 62, 2 lakhs 52. You know FMP, you know capital employed. The third determinant which I need is NRR, which is given to you. Normal profits on capital employed is to be considered at 10%. I can't calculate average capital employed because I don't have current year profits. So I will use only my closing capital employed for this. NRR is given as 10%. You can calculate normal profits, identify the super profits and then get the goodwill.
FMP figures 4 lakh 20 4 lakh 62 2 lakh 52 Normal profits take 10% NRR on capital employed 2 lakh 85 1 lakh 47 1 lakh 44 This will give us super profits Super profits in the first case is 1 lakh 35,000 Second case is 2 lakhs 15,000. That's 3 lakh 50. Next case is 1 lakh 8,000. Goodwill is how many years purchase? Read the question. Point number 4. Goodwill is 3 years purchase of super profits. Three years purchase, four lakh five, nine lakh forty five, three lakhs twenty four. To get PC, I already have goodwill, I already have closing capital employed. You just have to add both, you'll get the PC. To get total PC. Start with capital employed. Don't start from the beginning again. 28 lakh 15, 14 lakh 40. Add goodwill. 4 lakh 5, 9.45. 324 32,55,000 24,15,000 17,64,000 This is total PC This total PC is split between two parts. A portion in equity shares and a portion in debentures. So what is, he talk, what is he talking about? Equity shares will be distributed in the ratio of average profits after adjustment of depreciation on revaluation. What is the profits after adjustment of depreciation on revaluation? 420 is to 462 is to 252. This is the ratio to distribute your equity shares and the balance PC will be paid in debentures. But how many equity shares and how many debentures? That is given in point number 8 where he is saying that the issue of equity shares and debentures in Don Limited is to be maintained at 3 to 1 ratio. PC in equity shares and debentures To identify this, start with your total PC first. What is the total PC? Combination of all these three. The combination of all these three will give you this is 74 lakhs 34,000. That is 74 lakhs 34,000. That is the total PC. Now this PC is split into two parts. PC in equity shares 3 by 4 and PC in debentures is the balance 1 by 4. One by four is eight. 
check distribution into 3 is to 1 ratio or 1 is to 3 ratio. Four thousand, no? Zero or something, you know? This is five hundred only. Yep, seventy-five five hundred. Yep. So these are the values that we have. How will you distribute now? Discharge of PC distributed to these three companies. First situation, PC in equity shares, the 3 by 4 should be distributed in the ratio of their profits. 420 is to 462 is to 252. Distribute that 55 lakh 75,500 in the ratio of their profits after adjusting depreciation or revaluation. 420 is to 462 is to 252. Yes, guys, you need to round it off to the nearest 10 because each equity share is 10 rupees. It's exactly divisible. Yes, guys, check your answers. How will you get PC in debentures? PC in debentures is the balancing figure. You know total PC. Total PCs we already calculated as 32 lakh 55 thousand, 24 lakh 15 thousand, 17 lakh 64 thousand. These figures you already know as total PC. All you have to do is you already got PC in equity shares. We just get have to get PC in debentures, which is a balancing figure. First case it is 11,90. Second case it is 1,44,000. actually. 1,43,500. And the last case it is 5,25,000. You can check your answer. Your balancing figures and debentures should be equal to the total debentures 18,58,500. These are balancing figures. Very clearly he said debentures is balanced due. That is the balance due. The balance due should be equal to that 
58,500 total debentures, then your answer is absolutely right. Nature of amalgamation, PC given in the form of debentures makes it purchase. Even there's a revaluation as well. Method of accounting is purchase method. Should I calculate goodwill or capitalism? Not required. Because if you remember, we said when PC is calculated as per net assets method, amalgamation is by nature of purchase. Then your amount of goodwill will be the same amount of goodwill which is included in Computation of net assets. What is the value of goodwill included in net assets calculation? 4 lakh 5, 9 lakh 45, 3 lakh 24. Then the total goodwill on amalgamation will be the same goodwill included in net assets. This is 16 lakhs 74,000. And go for the balance sheet. While drafting the balance sheet, you need to consider the ninth point. Amount required for preliminary expenses of 1,50,000 and for the payment of existing debenture holders should be provided by issue of equity shares of 10 rupees each in dawn. That means the current, whatever debentures are existing there, those debentures are being discharged. How much debentures are there? 600 and 300, but basically 6 lakh and 3 lakhs, total 9 lakhs plus this preliminary expenses also should be provided out of it. Total 10,50,000 equity shares should, should, should be issued. Don't forget that last adjustment. Last adjustment is important for your balance sheet. Balance sheet of Dawn Limited. As on 31st March 2012, equity and liabilities.
shareholders funds share capital equity share capital what is given as pc is 55 lakh 75500 plus in the ninth point is saying preliminary expense of 1 lakh 50000 and payment to the existing debenture holders existing debenture holders are 6 lakhs in arun and 3 lakhs in crown total is 9 lakhs 9 lakhs plus preliminary expense of 1 lakh 50 total is 10 lakh 50 that 10 lakh 50 also should be provided by issue of equity shares in don limited so 10 lakh 50000 plus 55 lakh 75000 this will give me 66 lakhs 25500 Reserves and surplus. I have a preliminary expense. Negative figure. Show it as a negative reserve. One lakh fifty thousand. There are no non-current liabilities because those debentures are already settled. So I'll only have current liabilities. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah, new debentures have come in. Non-current liabilities. I have debentures, 10% debentures, which are newly issued as PC. 10% debentures, 18 lakh 58 thousand five hundred. That is your PC. We already have that figure. What about current liabilities then, guys? Preliminary expenses is paid. Preliminary expenses the negative reserve shown under reserves and surplus as per Schedule Three. It should be shown as a deduction from shareholder funds. Your current liabilities are nothing but the other liabilities there. The total is thirteen lakh fifty thousand. Assets, non-current assets, tangible fixed assets. Take the revalued figures. The revalued figures are thirty lakhs, fifteen lakhs, and eighteen lakhs. That will give me sixty-three lakhs of tangible fixed assets. Intangible assets is goodwill. The total goodwill we have already calculated sixteen lakh seventy-four thousand. Current assets, other assets is given to you. You can write it under current assets. Revalued figures: sixteen, seventeen lakhs, ten thousand. Your total of current assets is other assets are seventeen lakh, ten thousand. That's it for the balance sheet. There's no other figure. There's ninety-six lakh, eighty-four thousand.
இது நைன்டி நாலு